Uh, Disney, in well, collaboration culture. with National Geographic, just <laughs> they're, they're releasing, we're going to react to this, they're releasing a documentary. Oh, okay, good. Uh, um, some would say propaganda. By some, I mean I. Praising <laughs> Everyone. Uh, Tony Fauci. Here's the teaser. Oh, boy. When I think about my dad growing up, I certainly think about that seriousness. He fathered children? But wow. very few people get to see. <laughs> He's funny, weird, and really playful. Oh, we got weird. God help us. You mean Moloch? In 1981, <laughs> HIV AIDS was evolving rapidly and airborne. frighteningly. You said it was, it was airborne. was anger at the government's response. They were and angry you that you said they could get it from a cereal box. Fast. It's affecting you now. Yeah. I got it off a toilet seat. Post-traumatic stress syndrome. From what? Being a lying when pussy? hit, he became this target. My dad said, we're going to get through this whole thing. And he's held back. You don't do it because you want to make money. You don't do it for the glory. You do it because you care. <laughs> when you're involved in a race to stop a horrible disease, you always feel you're not doing things quickly enough. Dave, are you? OK. All right, Dave. Oh. Yeah, well, oh. look, ah. we shouldn't have fed him the Wu-Tang clams. Just glad we still have the Dave, you there. OK, buddy? Yeah. There's a lot in there. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. Did you see his daughter? Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> Look. Hey. By the way, I love how they say he's not doing it for the glory or money. Only he just so happens to get both of those things. Yeah. That's how he's paid. He has more money than any other non-elected official in the United States government. And, of course, he's never met a camera he didn't like. Oh. I'm sorry, Dave. <sighs> Let's just not lead with anything from Nat Geo in the future. Or about yeah, it's Fauci, probably maybe. Or about Fauci. Can somebody yeah. get me an old Nat Geo to settle my stomach? <laughs> <laughs> they are really deifying this guy. Yeah, they are. Yes. Did you see that? Like, I love the background music. Always pay attention to that. Like, it's this building, like, to crescendo, and it's, like, just making him out to be this superhero that's going off to battle against all these dark forces. I'm like, no, you're the dark force that we're battling against. What are you talking about? He's been wrong about everything. I wish this guy could actually be under oath. Did you or did you not say that AIDS was airborne and that children could catch it being in the same breakfast nook as their parents? I did. I did, but then after spending time in the (laughs) bathhouses... I realized that it changed, and it took me in a history uh, search through anal bleaching. I thought people were walking around with the, <laughs> with took a slim shadies. Turns out it's skin pigment. I thought it was Frank and berries, not Frank and Barry. I don't know. I thought they were having penis for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> not to, ma- but I am quite fond of it. Halloween when it becomes booberry crunch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you heard my daughter say it was funny. <laughs> I'm good at making ghosts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gosh, this uh, is just look. This oh is a man, man who's. This just goes to show you when they pick a savior, they pick someone who they want to make a date. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're, they're gonna bite down on their mouthpiece and keep swinging for the fences. This oh, yeah, guy's been yeah. wrong about everything. Yeah, yeah. And the only reason that they're picking this guy is because they needed an anti-Trump. They needed somebody as the savior. Who, by the way, as a doctor, said, "Well, I couldn't quite say what I wanted to say because Donald Trump was heavy-handed." I'm like, I, I thought as a doctor you were supposed to just tell us the truth. Period. It was like your it job. doesn't matter if you yeah. get fired. If you get fired, that's what you're supposed to do to make sure you protect the American people. Well, which is what they're what, saying though, you did. But that that being said, I mean. Um, Look, we never saw Fauci while Trump was president. That's like Michael Ever. J. Fox's doctor being like, I can't tell him this. Right. <laughs> he's a star. He yeah. is. Let's just tell him he's uh, you just got a nervous uh, you just, you just, uh, you're, It's happy anxiety. Yeah, yeah. You're a nervous yeah. guy. Watch Louder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.